So this is really complementary to our VMC2, which is on right behind you right now. The VMC2 we've had around for a while. It's, it's a full three-axis machining center that you can pick it up with a pallet jack and set it somewhere else. So if today the parts coming out of my lathe need a slot on the side, I can put it next to the lathe, have the operator run both, and tomorrow maybe I need it on the other side of the shop, I move it over there, plug it in, and it's, it's running. It, it, now with this one here, mm -hmm. this is obviously the one you were saying has been out for a little bit. This right. is actually a powerful little machine. I mean, what do they call these phone booth machines typically? The little tiny ones? I think sometimes people call it like that. This thing is four feet by 30 inches wide if you don't include the control, right? And, and the, the work envelope is fantastic though because in here you've got 14 by 12 by 17 inside of this little machine. And back there behind that door is an eight position tool changer. So because of that, I can actually run and it'll move the table and use the bridge to do the x-axis and the y-axis work. Oh. So if you if you actually run it, and I can show you a little bit of yeah, that, yeah. you're gonna have to kind of look through the windows here, but if I'm in run mode here, at least you'll see a tool change. So as it does some of the machining, what we're doing here is this is a part that's one of the brackets that holds one of our scales on our machines, right? And so when it finishes with the work on the first part of this, then you'll see it, the table will move forward, it'll position the tool changer, and it uses the X, Y, and Z axis to do the tool changing, so there's no other moving parts. Crazy. You know? So the whole idea was this thing needed to be small enough to push it down an aisle in order to do something else with it, right? Ah, that makes a lot of sense. And like you said, you can literally have drops for these things, so you can have it by my finishing department one day, I can put it by a lathe the next, I can move this around the shop every day if I wanted to. I don't exactly. need the higher riggers, I don't need to, you know, get expensive rollers. It's ready to go. There's your tool change. Is that Cat 30? It is. BT30. BT30? Yep. So you can tell from that, it's just pretty simple, right? And it keeps it compact, and that was the whole idea of it. But, you know, it's it's got the... It's probably got the rigidity of like a, a knee mill, right? It's oh, a yeah. three horsepower motor. So if you use small tools at fast speeds, you can machine like crazy with this thing and it'll run all day long for you, you know? So it's become such a popular product now that people are buying it for their garages, yeah. you know, as well as, you know, just anywhere in the shop where they got a little bit of room and they need a little more help. And, you know, as they do in our track uh, facility itself, it really helps to be able to have machines where one operator can run multiple machines because then it helps us compete with the other countries where the labor is so cheap, right? And so if you go into track machine tools, you'll see two of these and two of our machining centers all being run by one guy. It and he's you, happy as a clam. Let's you build your own cell wherever you, whenever you want it on the fly. Exactly right. And if I don't need it today, I can get it out of the way and I can bring something else in to do the job. And if people want to find out more about this machine and all of Trax machines, where can they go? I think the easiest way is to go to our website, which is www trackmt.com. Remember, track is T-R-A-K, there's no C, and the MT for machine tools.